If you're wondering which Chromebooks are worth your money, stick around. After we run through each product, I'll give you my personal take. Would I buy it or would I skip it? No fluff, just my honest opinion. Let's get into it. Asus Chromebook Plus CX34. This Chromebook is a game changer, offering premium performance at an affordable price. Its Intel Core i3 processor and 8GB of RAM deliver snappy performance that rivals more expensive models. The 14-inch Full HD display is sharp and vibrant, perfect for work and entertainment. With a decent port array and Wi-Fi 6 support, it's well-equipped for connectivity needs. Would I buy it? Yes, because it redefines what we can expect from budget-friendly Chromebooks, offering great value for money. Lenovo Flex 3 Chromebook While it's a budget-friendly 2-in-1, this Chromebook falls short in several areas. The plastic construction feels cheap, and the performance is lackluster compared to other options. Battery life is disappointing, not lasting a full day of use. On the plus side, it does have a responsive 12.2-inch touchscreen and a decent port selection. Would I buy it? No, because there are better options available that offer more power and better build quality for a similar price. Acer Chromebook Plus Spin 714 This Chromebook is a premium experience without the premium price tag. The Intel Core Ultra 5 processor handles tasks effortlessly, and the 8GB of RAM ensures smooth multitasking. I love the sleek aluminum design with gold accents, giving it a luxurious feel. The new AI tools integrated into Chrome OS, like Magic Editor in Google Photos, are impressive and work seamlessly. Would I buy it? Yes, because it offers a high-end Chrome OS experience with powerful hardware and innovative AI features at a reasonable price point. Lenovo Flex 5i Chromebook Plus This 2-in-1 Chromebook strikes a good balance between performance and affordability. The Intel Core i3 processor and 8GB of RAM provide excellent performance for Chrome OS. I appreciate the versatile convertible design, allowing easy transitions between laptop and tablet modes. However, the battery life is just average, and it's a shame Lenovo didn't include a stylus. Would I buy it? Maybe. Because while it offers great performance and flexibility for its price, the lack of exceptional battery life and a bundled stylus might be deal-breakers for some users. Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 3 Chromebook this 2-in-1 device packs a punch with its bright 2K display and surprisingly snappy performance for everyday tasks. The included keyboard and stylus add great value, making it a versatile option for work and play. Its compact size and long battery life make it a perfect for on-the-go use, though the speakers could use some improvement. Would I buy? Yes. It's an excellent choice for those seeking a portable and versatile Chromebook without breaking the bank. Acer Chromebook Plus 515 this laptop impresses with its lightning-fast startup and ability to handle multitasking like a champ. The lovely display and great sound quality make it a joy to use for both work and entertainment. It even supports native and stream-based gaming, which is a nice bonus for a Chromebook. Would I buy it? Yes. It's a solid productivity machine that offers great value for its price point, especially with its gaming capabilities. Acer Chromebook 516 GE This device boasts a sharp QHD Plus display that's great for multimedia consumption and productivity. Its performance is decent for most tasks, though it's not quite as powerful as some Windows alternatives. The keyboard and touchpad are comfortable, but the battery life is just average at around 6 hours. Would I buy it? Maybe. It's a good option if you want a large screen Chromebook with gaming features, but there might be better choices depending on your specific needs. Framework Laptop Chromebook Edition While this Chromebook offers impressive repairability and customization options, it comes at a steep price for what you get. The performance is solid but not significantly better than cheaper alternatives. The battery life is disappointing, falling short of many competitors in its price range. Would I buy it? No. Unless you're specifically looking for a highly repairable Chromebook, there are better value options available with similar or better performance. Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Plus This sleek and powerful Chromebook is a game changer with its Intel Core 3 100U processor, delivering snappy performance for all your tasks. The 15.6-inch AMOLED display is a visual treat, offering vibrant colors and sharp details that make work and entertainment a joy. At just 11.8mm thick and weighing only 2.58 pounds, it's incredibly portable, perfect for on-the-go productivity. The inclusion of a full-size HDMI port and multiple USB ports is a pleasant surprise for such a thin device, making connectivity a breeze. Would I buy it? Yes because it offers a premium Chromebook experience with its powerful performance, stunning display, and ultra-portable design, making it worth the investment for those seeking a high-end Chrome OS device. Lenovo Chromebook Duet 11 This 2-in-1 Chromebook tablet comes with some impressive features, like the included Folio keyboard and Lenovo USI Pen 2. The 10.95-inch WUXG8 display is crisp and bright, making it great for media consumption. However, the MediaTek Companion 838 processor and 4GB of RAM can lead to noticeable lag when multitasking or running demanding apps. 
The limited storage options of 64GB or 128GB might be a constraint for some users. Would I buy it? No, because while it's a decent option for basic tasks and media consumption, its performance limitations and small screen size make it less suitable for more intensive work or multitasking compared to other Chromebooks in its price range. HP Chromebook Plus X360 This convertible Chromebook offers a versatile 14-inch Full HD touchscreen display, perfect for both work and entertainment. The Intel Core i3 and 305 processor provides decent performance for everyday tasks, but it might struggle with more demanding applications. I appreciate the inclusion of generative AI solutions for drafting documents and customizing video call backgrounds. However, the battery life is below average, lasting only about 7 hours in real-world usage. Would I buy it? Maybe. Because while it offers a good balance of features and performance for its price, the subpar battery life and average display quality might be deal-breakers for some users looking for a more premium Chromebook experience. Asus Chromebook CM30 This compact 10.5-inch Chromebook tablet boasts a bright WUXGA display that's great for outdoor use. The included stylus with a built-in silo is a nice touch, making it convenient for note-taking and drawing. However, the MediaTek Companion 520 processor and 4GB of RAM result in noticeable lag and slowdowns when multitasking or running demanding apps. The limited 64GB of storage and a lack of a microSD card slot severely restrict your ability to store files locally. Would I buy it? No, because despite its portability and included stylus, the weak performance and limited storage make it difficult to recommend over other Chromebooks that offer better value and capabilities for similar or slightly higher prices. HP Chromebook 14-inch I was disappointed by this laptop's build quality and performance. The low-resolution TN panel looks washed out, and the screen doesn't get bright enough to overcome glare. While it has exceptional battery life, the CPU struggles with demanding tasks and heavy multitasking. The keyboard feels good to type on, but the mediocre port selection and poor quality webcam are letdowns. Would I buy it? No. It's inadequate for productivity and lacks the power for anything beyond basic tasks. Acer Chromebook Plus 514 This Chromebook impressed me with its stylish looks and nippy performance, thanks to the Ryzen 3 7320C processor. The keyboard is excellent with good tactility and backlighting, making it comfortable for extended typing sessions. I appreciate the vast port selection, including USB-C, USB-A, and HDMI out. The 14-inch 1920-1200 IPS screen, while not the most vivid, is still solid for day-to-day -day work and media consumption. Would I buy it? Yes. It offers great performance and features at a reasonable price, making it a solid choice for most users. Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i Chromebook 14 This Chromebook surprised me with its sharp, bright display and excellent 1080p webcam. The battery life is impressive, lasting over 13 hours of light use, However, the keyboard feels slightly mushy, which might be a deal-breaker for heavy typists. While it handles general productivity tasks well, don't expect it to handle anything intensive. Would I buy it? Maybe. It's a good option for students or light users, but those needing more power might want to look elsewhere. Acer Chromebook Spin 314 I found the convertible design of this Chromebook to be its standout feature, allowing easy transition between laptop and tablet modes. The keyboard has a satisfactory tactile feel, but the clacking sound when typing might annoy some users. Unfortunately, the display quality is subpar compared to similarly priced laptops with its IPS panel. The Intel Pentium N6000 processor handles basic tasks well, but struggles with demanding applications. So would I buy it? No. While versatile, there are better alternatives available at this price point with superior displays and performance. HP Elite Dragonfly Chromebook this is the pinnacle of Chrome OS hardware, running like butter with a feel that matches its premium price tag. The 3 to 2 screen is pleasing to the eyes, the speakers are loud and crisp, and the keyboard is close to the Pixelbook Go's quality. With an Intel Core i5 or i7 processor, up to 32GB of RAM, and up to 512GB of storage, this Chromebook is a powerhouse that can handle everything from productivity tasks to light gaming. The 5MP camera, AI noise cancellation, and Wi-Fi 6E make it perfect for virtual collaboration while the haptic trackpad and spill-resistant keyboard add to its premium feel. Would I buy it? Yes. The HP Elite Dragonfly Chromebook is the best Chromebook I've ever used, with its high-quality casing, lightweight and excellent performance making it worth the investment for those who want the ultimate Chrome OS experience. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you pick the Chromebooks for you. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Links to all of these products mentioned in this video will be in the description. Alright, peace out.